everyone, thank you for watching. Today I am back with a get ready with me video. I am going to a concert tonight. It was a very last minute concert, but I figured I would film myself getting ready, hair, makeup, outfit, and then I'll get it up for you guys tomorrow. It's been a really long time since I've been to a concert. Uh, I was over at my best friend's house last night and she was like, do you remember the band Taking Back Sunday? I'm like, yes. She's like, well, they're all playing at PNC and we need to go. So I was like, hell yes. We went right on Ticketmaster, got our tickets, and we're going at 5.30. So it is currently 1.02. Um, I have to leave here in three hours, so hopefully I'll have enough time. Okay, so are you ready for the lineup? Dashboard Confessional, Taking Back Sunday, Say Us In, The Early November, and Saves the Day. I'm so ready. I haven't heard any of these songs in so long, but I have a feeling like I still remember a bunch. But, all right, so before I got going, whenever I want to apply like a body bomb or like something with color in it to give me some shimmer on my chest, um, I do that before I do my makeup because when you apply it, it makes your skin darker. So in the past, what I've done, I've learned the hard way, is I would do my full face of makeup, apply the bronzer, or like sparkly stuff to my body, and then my face wouldn't match my body. So it's always harder to get your face to match your body afterwards, so I recommend applying this first. This is the Miracle Body Transformer in Bronze, the ones that I mentioned in my last video. So I applied it all over my chest and my arms. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing shorts yet, so if I do, I'll apply it on my legs as well. It was actually really funny because the video that Brett did my makeup, I feel like he picked the most perfect foundation shade that I've ever worn in my life, which is really funny. So I may use that one, but I also recently just picked up the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. Um, it's mattifying and oil free. I had seen online that this was like a really popular foundation, which is cruelty free. So I may try that one out today. We'll see. So it's been so long since I've done a get ready with me. To be honest, it's been the echo issue. I'm using my vlog camera for the third video in a row because it seems that the echo isn't as crazy. My Canon is just a more professional camera, so it picks up sound a lot better. So I'm gonna try this new foundation just because I have it out already. It's the Hourglass in the color warm beige and I picked the colors out online but I swatched it a little bit when I got it. I just got it in the mail yesterday and it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand and then dot it onto my face. I feel like I haven't like just sat and talked to you guys in so long. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Is school over yet? I feel like school is basically over. So that's exciting summer break. I remember when I was in school, like the last day of school was probably like, the best day ever. So I know it's been exciting. If this was like a daytime concert, I would definitely be wearing like way less makeup. But since it's a nighttime concert and we have actual seats, we're not gonna be like on the lawn or anything. Um, we're gonna be underneath like a canopy. So I figured, you know what? I haven't done full glam in so long. I've been like no makeup for the past week, two weeks. So I'm just gonna go all out today. So I feel like this color is pretty good, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's close enough and then the contour and all that stuff will darken it up. To contour my nose, I'm using this Beautiful Bronze color by LA Girl. When I have more of a tan, I use Beautiful Bronze. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I had to go to the dermatologist two days ago. My eczema has been insane. Come on, let me get these lines straight. I would say the past month, at least, it has not gone away. Okay, so certain areas, like on my hand, for instance, it's gone. And I was giving you guys like that update because I feel like the one on my hand was like the one that just would not go away. So the one on my hand is actually gone. I've been fine with that, but I get it in other areas. Basically anywhere that I'm warm, like you could see like right under here. I don't know if you could see. Every night I've been up for like two, three hours, like itching myself and yada, yada, yada. And it's just been brutal. And when we got back from Florida, I was like, that's it. Like, what the hell am I doing? Like, I can't live like this anymore. So we went. There's a dermatologist right by our house, so we went over to her. I've been to so many dermatologists, by the way. I've been to allergists, I've been to so many, and like every time I go, they tell me something different. But um, the lady was actually really nice, and um, she gave me some good advice, and a lot of things she had recommended that I hadn't heard before. So she had asked me like what we keep our temperature at in our house, and I'm like 73, and she's like, 73! She's like, you cannot keep your temperature at 73. Like, it needs to be a lot lower than that. She's like, we keep it at 58 for when we're sleeping, and then during the day, like 60, it doesn't go above 68. So I'm like, first of all, like when it's 73, I'm still wearing a robe and a sweatshirt, and I'm freezing and slippers and everything, because I'm I feel like I'm just always cold. But I we did definitely make it a little bit cooler, which seems to be helping a little bit. She also had recommended me to take some vitamin D pills as well as some magnesium pills. 
which I haven't picked up yet. I was hoping going vegan would clear that up, but I mean, I know it takes time, so I'm gonna give it time. I'm not planning on ever not being vegan. That's something that me and Brett just can't imagine like not being vegan at this point. Got a fresh new custard. So that's the update with the eczema thing. I do plan on filming like a vegan update and maybe showing you guys some of the meals that we've been having and stuff like that for any of you guys that have tried it or need some meal options. Check out Brett's channel because he's been posting a lot of vegan stuff. He also posted our grocery haul, which is really cool. Maybe I'll even show you guys my smoothie recipe that I have literally every morning. If you guys want to see it, let me know and um, I could definitely film that for you. Even though I don't, normally don't do like cooking and stuff like that. Brett thinks I'm a freak because I don't ever get sick of it. But that's how I am with things. Like if I find something I really, really like, I'll have it every single day until I get sick of it. So, so far so good. I've had it for the past two months since I've been vegan. Even before I went vegan, I was still drinking it. It's just good to have like a smoothie in the morning, it gives you energy and I used to always have coffee and I still sometimes will have coffee but I'll always always have my shake first so that's the first thing that's going into my body. I probably could have used the color honey because it's a little darker, this is a little bit light for me. I got a nice tan while I was in Florida but oh well. So I'm using the Anastasia, wait, I have a fuzz on my face. Clear fuzz, where are you? I feel you. <gasps> Itchy. Got him. Okay, so I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I just had to get a new one from Sephora. When I was in Florida with Nicole, one of the days we went to the mall and of course we had to go to Sephora always deadly when we go shopping slash makeup shop. I feel like any type of shopping is always deadly with the both of us. So we're supposed to be going to LA next week for, well, I was supposed to be doing VidCon just to go. I'm not, like I wasn't planning like a meetup or anything. I was just gonna kind of go and just hang out. I mean, we have to go because our lease is up for our apartment the end of June, which is so crazy that it's already been a year. But, so we have to go and empty it out. We have clothes and we have beds and we have all kinds of stuff there. So if you guys know, of like any good places to donate or anything like that. We have a lot of stuff um, in the apartment that we're not gonna need that we don't really know what we should do with. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Sorry, my camera just died. The one great thing about using this vlog camera is it overheats really easily. Um, so as I was saying, me and my friends all got into like that scene type of music and all that stuff when we were like freshmen, sophomores in high school. All my friends chopped all their hair off. My best friend had like the severe swoop bangs. Maybe I can find a picture. I don't even think I want you guys to see pictures of me during that time, but it was a very rough time of my life. I didn't cut my hair off. I really wanted to, but I always had curly hair, so I'm like, it's just not gonna work. But all my friends had like the very, 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 very short, short hair. We used to go to shows and we used to go to like concerts and the guy I was dating was in a band. So it's just so funny because as soon as I saw her yesterday and she told me, she's like, do you want to go see this concert? I'm like, yes, yes. Like, bring me back to the good old days when we were 15, 16, not even knowing anything about life, but yet still stressing out about everything. I don't know. We always had good times though, so I'm really excited about this. In August, we're going to see Miranda Lambert, Keith, no. Keith Urban, I already saw Keith Urban. Um, Kenny Chesney and Sam Hunt, so that's gonna be really fun. I cannot wait for that. In August, we're also going on a vacation to Jamaica. Me, Brett, Nicole, and her boyfriend, Pat. We have never, well, me and Nicole used to go on family vacations with each other all the time. Like, I've been on a bunch with her family. She's been to a bunch of places with my family, but we've never, like, just me and her, like, we've never gone on a vacation without, like, our parents. And our boyfriends are really good friends, which is awesome, so it's gonna be so much fun. Yesterday, we had, uh, like, three guys here ripping out the old closet unit that they had um, when we first moved in, which was like a dark, dark brown. But I didn't really love it. Um, I wanted an all-white closet, so I have a whole closet that I got to design myself and it will be installed the 29th of June is when they start. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to show you guys. So I like separated all my individual shadows into palettes so they looked pretty. So this is like my summery peachy golden palette, I guess. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna even do on my eyes. I'm gonna keep it pretty light and then do the lashes and all that. So let's see, I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna do the eyes and then I'll list in order the shadows that I use because I don't even know what, I might use like a bunch. I'm gonna use like this peach. It's too light. All right, so let's go in with this. I'm gonna go in with like this taupey color. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the color Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna apply that in the crease as well, to give it a little color. I love how it's like I'm gonna do natural and like the crease is like so dark. It's fine. My brushes need a severe cleaning. My life needs a severe cleaning, by the way. I feel like every video that I post, there's always like a few people that are like, you seem really sad or you seem really down. And I promise you I'm not. Honestly, all I wanna do is just like work and get videos up and just stay consistent because I feel like it's been a while since I've been like actually really consistent and it stresses me out a lot. I miss doing my blog posts, I miss doing fashion stuff. And I just feel like with the whole move and everything, you just don't really know what to expect until you go through it. And I mean, I've moved Oh, by the way, I'm also mixing in on my lid uh, Gold Rush by Anastasia. It's like more of like a gold. I still have to go through all of the video entries for my giveaway. So I apologize, it's been so hectic, but um, the giveaway ended on Tuesday. I probably won't be announcing winners until like the end of June because I'm, again, I have to go to LA to get my stuff out. So I'm gonna be like all over the place, but they will be announced as soon as possible, either end of June or beginning of July. So I've only watched a few. I have a lot more to watch and I cannot wait to watch them because you guys, I feel like that's what I need. I need just like a few hours of just sitting down, forgetting the world and just getting to see your videos. And I, I know every time I watch them and I actually sit down and watch them, I cry the whole time. And I feel like I need a, a, not a it's not a sad cry, it's a happy cry because that's what gives me hope in this crazy world that we live in. Just all the goodness and the fact that I was able to inspire you guys to go out and go do something nice for somebody else. So the camera died again, so I just did my wing liner because you've seen me do that a bunch of times. Don't wanna bore you. I'm gonna go in with this little mini Morphe M170-4. Oh, oh, what's going on down there? Um, and then I'm gonna pick up that same red ochre and I'm just gonna sharpen this line a little bit, make it look a little bit of the burnt orange while we're in this palette and just kind of blend. Oh, I got a bad cramp, got a bad cramp, got a bad cramp. For lashes, I'm using the WSP Red Cherry Lashes. These are like my, what time is it? Oh my God, it's 1.43, it's 1.43. Um, I don't know why I'm stressing out, like it's not the end of the world if we're not on time. Um, so these are just the ones I always wear when I don't want anything crazy. They're just easy to throw on. I know they're gonna look good. Um, I always have to snip them a little bit just in the inner because they're a tad bit long. If you're wearing false lashes and you know you're gonna be out all night, go, go. Bring some glue with you in your purse. I can't tell you how many times I've had to make Brett stop on the way out wherever we were going because on the way in the car, my eyelash lifted in the corner. So just always bring it with you. Otherwise you're gonna have 900 bottles of them and not know what to do with it all. And then for under the eye, I'm gonna try a little bit of this color Glisten. And then I'm picking up Topaz. Mascara. This is the only one that I've found so far that's cruelty free that I can live with. Although I still am looking for something better. But you know, maybe I'll just have to create something a little bit better. One thing that I've been working on for the past almost year is gonna be launching, it's gonna be pushed back a little bit to like the beginning, like week or two of July, just for, um, there was just a little bit of a hold up with some of the, I can't even say what, but I can't wait to show you guys. Oh, 
It was so crazy too. Once I can talk about it, I'll tell you the whole story on how it happened and all that stuff. I'm taking this Sigma E52 brush with this peach shade from my Cap on D kit and I'm just going over the nose contour so it's not so harsh. Let it sit there for a minute. I'm using my M, oh no, sorry, B07 round contour by, I don't know the name of the company, it's, it says D slash B, so I'll look into it for you guys. But I'm gonna use the middle brown, and just do this. This is like the tannest I've been in two years. <laughs> I'm like picking up a little bit of the darkest contour shade. I'm like shocked. I feel like I'm rushing. This is me rushing doing my makeup. I'm like, <laughs> so, you know. This is a real get ready with me. I'm really getting ready and I really gotta go. I'm gonna use the blush that I always use because it's out. And I don't know if I have another one anywhere near me. I'm gonna mix this and this on my cheeks. I feel like my face is still looking a little paler than my body, but I'll make it work. I'm gonna take a little bit of the medium shade bronzer and just kinda bronze a little bit more. And for highlighter, I have my top favorite, I'm gonna use the pinky, pinky? Gold, pinky. I'm gonna use the pink one and I'm gonna probably mix in a little bit of the gold eyeshadow from my palette. It just always stays the best for my nose. I've tried a bunch of others and then I noticed like by the time I leave it's not shiny anymore. And I know everyone hates this but I'm still feeling it. Everyone thinks it looks like boogers. I don't understand, like I don't think it looks that bad. I like a little highlight, because I prefer it there than, maybe I'll put a little on my cheeks since we're gonna be outside, why not? Can you see it? And I think that's really as good as it's gonna get for the face. Um, what do I wanna do for lips though? BFF by ColourPop. Look at this. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Kylie Air Matte for a little shimmer. And Pure Hollywood. Over. Oh, that's too light. I don't wanna go that light. Hang on. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Beeper. I always like to mix lips. I have never like just loved one lip color that much. On the outer. And I'm just gonna use like a little lip brush to blend it. Can't even see the original Kylie one, so maybe you could skip that one. And then I'm gonna take some of my gold highlighter. your own metallic lip. But I'm gonna do my part because we don't got time. So I snapchatted and asked what I should do with my hair and I told you guys to tweet me and I'm seeing a lot of waves and braids, natural waves, beachy waves, curl it. So I guess I'm just gonna go with some waves which I was kind of thinking that anyway. So I'm just gonna section off my hair. Bring it all to the front. Sorry about this shirt situation I got going on and I'm just gonna start Curling some pieces. When I'm doing like the bottom pieces, I always grab like bigger sections just because I feel like the top pieces I like a little bit curlier. So, this wand is um, by Bellamy, by the way. It's a little pink one. I'm just gonna repeat it on the same side and then I'll be back because my camera's gonna overheat. So, the bottom layer, as you guys saw, I just curled and left down. The middle layer I pinned up because. My hair is just super flat and I wanted a little bit of body, so I'm gonna pin these up and then while I search for my outfit, I'm gonna leave them in, let them cool, and then we'll pull them down. So for the top piece, 
know a lot of people like to always see like the top so I'm gonna split it into two and I'm gonna take this back section because this is the piece that I like to go back scalp burned while I was in Florida so if you see any skin it's just dry skin that's all that it is so I'm just wrapping it around and I keep it like the barrel facing back that way the hair falls back that way I need a haircut very bad I need some layers I need some angles and I need to color it so um, yeah don't mind the hair it's a work in progress can't even see you And then I have my little bobby pins. And I'm just gonna pin it up. Like that. And then, take another piece, section that into two, and curl. And all these front pieces, I'm going back as well. I'm curling it back, away from my face. If you guys have like shorter layers um, and your hair curls a lot easier, you can, if, and you want like big beachy waves, you could skip like the whole pinning up. The reason that I've been pinning it up lately is because my hair is so long, it's very heavy and it gets weighed down and um, like all my angles and, and all my layers kind of grew out. So normally if I were to just curl it, spray it, I'd be good. But again, since it's so long and heavy, I have to pin it up if I want it to stay. So I finally, I don't know if I've told you guys, I finally ordered a couch. I had a couch that I was gonna buy and I was pretty much about to order it and then um, I just wanted to make sure before I bought it that I was gonna love it. And um, this is the couch that's in for my beauty room. So I know I've been taking like those mirror pics or whatever and my room's completely empty. So I ordered a couch and I also ordered a new vanity chair. So hopefully those come sooner than later. I'm really excited to show it to you guys though. I can't wait to decorate this room. I have so many different ideas in mind. I'm gonna do a couch, I'm gonna do a nice coffee table, I'm gonna do some art and um, like some cool curtain things and yeah, it's gonna look really nice. So I'm just excited to get like something done. I feel like I've been doing like a little bit here and there of everything and nothing's actually done. But I mean, that's the whole process. When you move into your house, it's not like you're renting and you can just pack it all up in a year or two. So you wanna make sure you're doing it right that way you're not wasting money. I can't find my hairspray, I had like a big white hairspray, so I don't know where it is. I've looked everywhere. I don't know if Brett maybe borrowed it. So I'm just gonna use the Dry Bar Triple Sec Texturizer. Um, if you guys find that your curls won't stay without hairspray, use a hairspray. I just don't have one today, so I'm just gonna have to work with what I got. So I really wanted Lou to come over and get ready with me so we could both get ready together and film it since we were in the concert together, but she lives like an hour away from me now, so it doesn't make sense because where we're going is kind of like in between both of us. So I'm going to bring my camera though so that way I can vlog while we're there. I'm going to go pick out an outfit. I'll be back. So I finally found an outfit. I called Moo. I was literally sitting on my floor. I have all my clothes in like two of the guest bedrooms because my closet's not done yet. So I was literally, I tried something on and it was a really, really, really cute outfit and I can't wait to wear it. but. It was a little revealing, it was a little much, so I said, you know what, I'll save it for a time where I'm actually with Brett. So I didn't wear that, I took everything off, I'm sitting on my floor naked, Indian style, just looking at the chaos around me, and I'm like, what am I gonna wear? Of course, I really didn't wanna wear black tonight, but you know what, I ended up in black, I feel like whatever. So I'm wearing this top, and then I have these shorts. They're from Cole and Terry Vintage. They are literally like three years old. So I'm just gonna pull the pins out. They've definitely had enough time to cool. So. I'm gonna pull these out and they're gonna look ridiculous, but just see what I do. So before I brush it out, I'm gonna spray a little more of this texture, like under all this, and we're done. Just kidding. Okay, so now I'm just gonna brush through these bad boys. The reason I like to do it this way is because since they have time to like set, it's gonna stay a lot longer. So I actually found a hairspray. It's not cruelty free, so I don't even wanna talk about it. But um, I just needed a little hairspray, and I honestly, this is the only bottle of hairspray that I have, which is funny considering 
the amount of crap I have elsewhere. So, see how nice and full it is? And like, I think I need a little bit of, can you imagine? I think I need a little sea salt spray. Oh look, a bobby pin. I don't know where all of my hair stuff is. So, more texture spray it is. And then you just get super large and in charge hair. All right, so it's gonna depuff and it's gonna loosen up as time goes. Like right now, it's just like massive because I just took them out. So you'll see as the night goes on, I'm sure by the time I leave, it's gonna be completely flat, but I'm gonna just leave it super large like this because it's gonna tame. So if you want body and you want them to look fluffy and big, pin your curls. All right, so it is 3.50, we have to leave in 10 minutes. I'm gonna try and get a quick picture before we go of my outfit so you can see the full outfit and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I am all ready to go. I'm gonna go grab my jacket, grab my boots, and we're gonna hit the road. It is 3.57. Oh, Moo just texted me. I'm probably just wearing jeans, a crop top, not sure about shoes. I'm wearing, okay, so I'm gonna tell I'm wearing shorts. Yeah, heels. Heels on the boots. Our beautiful unfinished floor. That seems like it'll never be finished. So we're running behind as always. We should have left like 10 minutes ago, but when are we ever on time? I love the natural lighting so much better. Cinny in the house. Hi Cinny, where's your face? And then we got Mr. Bear. Mr. Baby Bear. Hi, Cuckoo. I don't want to leave you again. I'm so tired of leaving this boy. We're here! Woo Look at Millie's little buns up. Baby okay. size. So cute. So we just got ID twice in a matter of five minutes. We're really happy about it. How do you feel about it? I'm feeling good because I'm feeling that I'm not old anymore. Yeah. I look like a baby. I'll take it. Yeah. So we're here. We're about to take a shot. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why this is a good idea. We basically have vodka and vodka. <laughs> so this is gin and tonic. Oh yeah, you have gin. And, and she's got a vodka club. Oh no, you got your vodka tonic. Yeah. And then this is gonna be gross. You think we could do it? The full one? No, oh, it's half. Like All right, cheers. Ew, it was warm. It was like pee warm. It was I did like more than you. I did more. It, it was warm. <laughs> Look who it is. Every concert I go to, my cousin Danny. Hi! Hi! I feel like every time we've been here, we've seen each other. I know. Well, I've been here. You come here with yeah. me. Yeah. I'm blind as a bat, so <laughs> literally. Hi. Cuckoo hi. Hi, Cuckoo hi. Dan. Hi. You're here. Hi, ladies. <laughs>
Cindy. Come here, mommy fluffy tail. Come here, mommy fluffy tail. Mm. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> You kill me, kid. You kill me. What are we doing? <laughs> Why? Oh. Licky Minaj? Is that you? Licky Minaj, yeah. <laughs>